There you go. Welcome. <laughs> Hello, um, Maximovich. I know uh, seeing it's a little <laughs> hard to get that. Um, Senator DeChambeau, Representative Warren, and members of the Criminal Justice and Public Safety Committee. My name is Ann Maximovich. I live in the town of Cumberland, and I currently serve on the MS-8051 Board of Directors. I am here today to testify in support of LD 1939, an act to protect school administration officials from harassment and abuse, sponsored by Senator Breen and Representative Moriarty. Our district experienced a very public campaign of harassment, intimidation, and abuse from June 2020 through the election of June 2021. The precipitating event was a statement issued by our district's equity leadership steering committee, of which I'm a member. This statement was in support of racial justice and condemned anti-black racism and white supremacy following the murders of Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Aubrey, and George Floyd. A disgruntled parent in the district began speaking out in opposition to the statement and all effort of the district to engage in anti-racism and equity work. He brought in another out-of-state aggressor with a history of harassing elected officials in Falmouth and Scarborough. During this long year, various members of the district, the majority of whom also live in the community, were targeted, including members of the board of directors, our superintendent, and a school social worker. I became a target in September of 2020 when a sign with my photo on it was installed in the yard of the parent which also happens to be across the street to the entrance to our campus, leading to both our elementary and middle schools. Given the fact the sign didn't violate any state statute or local ordinance, um, I was left without any recourse but to try and resolve the matter personally. My good faith effort was met with further escalation and harassment. I was issued a criminal trespass warning by the Cumberland Police Department after leaving a note and politely asking for the sign in person to be removed. Despite the fact I was never asked to leave or not return to the property. The day after I was issued this morning, the parent installed a larger sign. This one, billboard sized, which he self-reported to have set rat traps and electric fencing to protect it from interference. This sign stayed up illuminated at all hours until he took it down in February, only in order to prepare his home for sale. His accomplice went on to create a different sign with my image on it and hateful language, which was placed in various locations around the towns of Cumberland and Falmouth in advance of my re-election bid. One location included the front of my house at the roadside where he took a photograph and emailed it to me, the board of directors, town council and chief of police of Cumberland showing that he knew where I lived and saying that I should be fired. This person told me and the same group in one of his other harassing emails that he would come and steal something from my house. He would destroy it without my knowledge. He would wonder how long it would take for me to figure out what it was and what had happened. I had to drive by these public signs with my photograph as I was taking my two young children to their respective preschool and our elementary school, the library and everywhere else that was through the center of town. The chief of police repeatedly refused to talk to these individuals since no state statutes or local ordinance were violated. I was told there was a higher standard, a higher threshold for meeting harassment since I was an elected official, but there was nothing, there was nothing that was being done. I was failed by the town of Cumberland and my fellow victims were failed. If it were not for the involvement of Cumberland County District Attorney Jonathan Sharbat, I would not have had any personal resolution. No one should experience similar disparate treatment for any reason, let alone for serving the community they live or work in. I ask you to vote to approve 1939 to fill this gap in current state statute. I thank you for ensuring the safety of school board members and school administrators who are serving their communities across the state of Maine, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Thank you. 
that was threatening to hear. Um, Representative Warren. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Ms. Maximich, for being here today. Although I, I don't have the only thing I have to say is thank you so much for your public service. And I'm really sorry this happened to you. And I appreciate you being here to share your story. It must have been terrible. And I just want you to know that I felt that very clearly when you read that. And um, just thanks for sharing a very difficult story. Thank you. And I mean, I also want to clarify, <laughs> that was just part of it. Um, you know, my um, address and phone number was put out there with encouraging people to call me um, in opposition to this equity statement. I got messages from people across the country um, on my personal Facebook account. Uh, you know, I mean, it was a, a, a slew of things, but certainly the <laughs> coming to my house and, and doing these things and, you know, for for there to be this gap in the current state statute, um, it, it was it was really difficult. Um, it did rise to the level of harassment. And once, as I said, once a district attorney was involved, then action was finally taken and uh, a warning was issued. But this could have been prevented so much earlier where I, where I wouldn't have had to go through this. My family wouldn't have had to go through this. Thank, Thank you. you. Ms. Uh, I'm sorry, Representative Warren. Okay, you're all set. Thank you. Thank you. Um, anyone else have any questions? Seeing none, thank you very much for coming and sharing. Thank you. Um, I now have 